presentation. Peter O'Toole stars in a rare television appearance. I'm not very good with children. Emmy Award winner Mayor Winningham is his courageous companion. You mustn't come with me. Together, they're struggling to help a band of innocent children <laughs> escape the senseless brutality of war. You dare to threaten me? Yes! Together, they're crossing to freedom. A world premiere movie next. Not now. Dogs aren't good at war. Damn, I've lost him. Don't you know enough to be quiet when someone is fishing? Would you like a sweet? I would like some peace and quiet, Sarah, so run along and don't come back. My name's Sheila, not Sarah. Is it? Come along, Sheila. Mr. Howard's very grumpy today. I tell Mummy how rude you've been. And while you're at it, tell her that you caused me to lose my first catch of the season. Bonjour. Adolf Hitler, un 
lance le succès des bombardements sur Paris et encourage ses généraux à redoubler d'efforts contre les troupes françaises, l'armée allemande poursuit son avance sur Paris. Selon des nouvelles venant de Belgique, les soldats allemands seraient sur le point de traverser la Seine au nord de la ville. Déjà, des milliers de Parisiens commencent à évacuer la capitale. Sur toutes les routes, la circulation est intense. L'Italie nous voilà, madame I finally had some success. Vous êtes en guerre contre les alliés. Nous espérons être en mesure de vous communiquer des informations plus précises dans notre bulletin de la soirée. Bad news, monsieur. Italy has declared war with France. They said the Germans could be in Paris within four days. Yes, I will. Four days, is that possible? And the children send you there. Merci. Goodbye, my love. I shall be leaving for England tomorrow. Leaving? Why? You don't think they could come here? No. I'm sure they won't get much further than they are now. But at a time like this, a man's place is in his own country. But you've been here such a short time, monsieur. I intend to return within a few weeks when the dangerous stage of the war is past. At least I've had one good day's fishing. Madame, s'il vous plaît, un telegram. Oui, certainement, madame. Mrs. Kavner, is something wrong? Can I get you anything? No. No. No, thank you. My husband informs me that in Geneva they're saying that Switzerland may be invaded at any moment. Are they now? My husband is staying in Geneva and he wants me to join him there. Would that be wise? Even in German occupation we still have such urgent work to do at the League. We have positive assurances from the Germans that they will allow the League to function. But the problem is the children. Oh, yes. I see. Mr. Howard, I know it's asking an awful lot. But could you possibly take Mummy and Sheila back with you? My husband's sister could meet you at Southampton with the car and drive the children straight to her home in Oxford. I'm afraid Mrs. Kavner is out of the question. I don't stand up to travel very well. I have a weak heart. You would be safer if you put the children in the care of someone more robust. But who? There is no one you are, only hope. The fact is, you see, I'm not very good with children. It's been many years since my own were small, and even then I was out of my depth, so to speak, and I wouldn't. You'd be in England within 24 hours. Surely you could put up with two children for just 24 hours. They're good children. They wouldn't cause you much trouble. Madame Lucar just reminded me that Calais is in the hands of the Germans. So from Paris, we're going instead to St. Malo, and then across the channel to Southampton. I've had Madame Lucar pack a hamper with sandwiches. I know what it's like traveling with young children. Do we have to go with him, Mummy? Miss Dad's mean and grumpy. Actually, I'm so ashamed of you. You should be very grateful that Mr. Howard's going with you. But he never smiles, Mummy. And you must be very nice to him and make him smile. Listen to me, Sheila. I want my girl to be very brave and very well behaved. Ronnie. Goodbye, my darlings. Be good children. I hope they won't be too much of a trouble. Thank you again. I've had children of my own, you know. Children? I thought you said just one. No, I had two. Goodbye, Mrs. Carbner. Yes, Ronnie, and we will be a long time in the train. We'll have a steam engine or electric train. Sí, 
Sheila. What's wrong? Where's Mummy. I think she's ill. Ill? Elle a de la fièvre. Comment? She has fever. Fever? Look at her color and her skin. She has scarlet fever or chicken pox or uh, something. Mais regardez les joues, la couleur de la peau. Elle a la scarlatine, la varicelle ou quelque chose comme ça, non? Bad as that. On n'aurait jamais dû l'amener dans le train. Has she got spots? Spots? Paris? This train isn't going to Paris. Dijon is the next stop. My tickets are for Paris. Did I tell you? You have to change in Dijon. You'll have to wait until we get to Dijon. Water, 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 water. Grab a bag, Ronnie, and come with me. A bit heavy, Mr. Howard. All right, get the attaché case and the basket number. We'll leave the rest of our stuff here and hope for the best. Let's go. Where? To find a hotel. The hotel have a new, Mr. Howard? I expect so. I hope so. Look, Mr. Howard, they're stealing our luggage. Stop, Steve. Mr. Howard. Okay. Arrête! Stop! Stop! Arrête! Best pair of fishing rods I ever owned. Shall we tell the police? We must get your sister to bed. But they've got our pajamas. We'll have to sleep in our shirts. Mummy doesn't let us go to bed without brushing our teeth. But your mummy has nothing to say in the matter. Oh, Sheila, do stop wriggling. You're heavy enough as it is. Look, Mr. Howard, a combat car. I'd call it a tank myself. No, no, a tank is much bigger. All right, well, we talk about it later. I beg your pardon. I have no rooms. They've all been taken by the military. Yeah, but this is an emergency. I have a sick child. I'm sorry, monsieur, but what can I do? You can explain the situation to the captain and ask him to order one of his officers to share a room with another. My poor petite. She probably had something bad. I'm sure she'll be all right in a few days. Two days. Voila. All done. Is there only one bed? Well, it's big enough for the three of you. Is there someone who might look after the children while I go for some food, mademoiselle? I will get little Rose. Little Rose? My brother's ten-year-old daughter. My brother's in England. Maybe you know him. Henri Tenois. He's the wine waiter at the Hotel Dickens in Russell Square in London. He's a widower, so I have made a home for Little Rose. She helps me with my work. She speaks English. I will be most grateful if Little Rose could look after Little Sheila and Little Ronnie until I get back. I will get her. I found the room, Mr. Howard. It's right down the hall. Good. Could I go back to the station? I want to get 
get a closer look at the guns. No, you will stay here and be a very good boy. See what I can do. English. I'm trying to get back to England. First to Paris. Then to England by way of Saint Malo. <laughs> Forget about Paris, it's just about lost. It's for Saint-Malo that's too near the front. There will be only military traffic there. The Germans are moving incredibly fast. They've taken Reims. That's bad news. Everything about this war is bad news. It was a sad day for France when she allowed herself to get involved into it. Excuse me. You're still very warm. Do you think you could manage a little food? I could. I'm sure you could. I'm thirsty. Well, I'll give you some nice, cool milk. I assume you drink milk. Can Rose have some? May Rose have some? Tu veux rester? Oh, oui. Merci, monsieur. Thank you, monsieur. I will come and fetch her later. Uh, now, Rose and Ronnie will share. Can you tell us a story, Mr. Howard? Daddy always tells a story at dinner. I'm afraid I don't know any children's stories. Not even Cinderella? Not well enough to tell it. Didn't you ever tell your children stories? I suppose I did, but that was a long time ago. I've forgotten them. Can you tell us about your children? Well, there's not much to tell. My daughter is married to an American. She lives in America. Don't you have any boys? I had a son. He's dead. He was killed at the beginning of the war. Perhaps I could tell you a fishing story. How was he killed, Mr. Howard? Could you tell us a story about that? I love war stories. Ronnie, you have a perverse notion of war. War is a very bad thing. Aeroplanes! Are you going to drop bombs, Mr. Howard? I hope not. I want Mummy. Now listen, Sheila. Very likely you won't see your Mummy again until the war is over, and this is as good a time as any to start being a big girl. colors in this world there is now a detergent that helps keep them that way new cheer with color guard dirt goes color stays don't you look cute don't you look nice in your new pink rosebuds and blue oxford stripes new love's prints are tops in bottoms only loves has got them they're tops in bottoms know what's missing from pringles light barbecue not the zippy tang of chilies, onion, and garlic. And what's missing from Pringles Light Ranch? Mmm. Not the flavor of sour cream, buttermilk, and herbs. Your body knows what's missing. It's a lot of the fat and salt in their regular chips. Mmm. And no cholesterol. But your mouth will never, ever miss. What's missing? It's really tough to find products that meet the standards of Vidal Sassoon's worldwide salons. That's why we prefer our own. New form and finish. It's one of a kind. On wet hair, it shapes like a mousse. Try it, Jane. Nice form. Now the finish. Spray again on dry hair, and it holds like a hairspray. Vidal Sassoon's new form and finish. Created for women who use both mousse and hairspray. Vidal Sassoon. If you don't look good, we don't look good. Static can add up to real embarrassment. It's not you. Static can also be a hair-raising experience. It's not you. And static can catch you off guard. It's not you. 
Because the more you move, the more static can build up. But you can stop static cling by using Bounce regularly. Because Bounce leaves clothes virtually static-free. It won't stop you. Bounce stops static before static stops you. An American woman in communist China, her job was teach. Until a rebel teaches her about love and revolution. Guilty of counter-revolutionary activity. Melissa Gilbert. They could send you to labor camp. I can't let you risk that. Based on a true story, Forbidden Nights, Tuesday. A desperate man on the run. I'm a button man for the bureaucracy. Running from his past into a deadly future. Break! Wise Guy, Wednesday. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, Friday. Est-ce que vous avez un anglais à l'hôtel au nom de Howard Monsieur Howard Il vient de partir il n'y a qu'un moment. Assuredly, you will arrive in Saint Malo with this baby. Assuredly. Mm. Beautiful, non She is beautiful, yes. And uh, she's very big, yes She is very big. Yes, and the journey to San Malo is very long. No, with such a car it is most comfortable. Of course, it is not possible that I uh, hire the car to you. I have no person to drive her back. Oh. But uh, I can sell her to you for merely oh, 10,000 francs. 10,000 francs. But, monsieur... It is of value two times that amount. I am making you a favor. 10,000 francs is almost all I have. Oh, you break my heart. Maybe I can consider 9,000. 9,000 francs is a lot of money, but I really have no choice. No. No. He's cheating you, Monsieur Howard. Cheating? Pourquoi vous dites cheating Elle est magnifique, cette voiture, elle vaut bien plus que 10 000 francs. Est-ce qu'il y a de l'essence dans le réservoir Bien sûr qu'il y a de l'essence dans le réservoir, bien sûr. C'est scandaleux de profiter des gens malheureux. Et c'est scandaleux d'empêcher les gens de travailler. Il n'y a pas de pétrole dans le camp. Il n'y a pas de pétrole dans l'entire ville de ces gens, c'est une militaire. Ce n'est pas vrai. Arrêtez, mais laissez-moi tranquille à la fin. Vous devriez avoir honte. Mais vous aussi, vous devriez avoir... Émile Mademoiselle. Thank you very much. But you don't recognize me? Amico Rougeron. Vous êtes ici chez moi, vous allez discuter ailleurs. Ce sont des gens comme vous qui me font honte de transfrancer. Vous aussi, vous devriez avoir honte. We met at Cisat Home, 19 months ago. Oh, yes. You skied with John, my son. That's true. I remember your father, Colonel Rougeron. My father has been gone for three months now. So as we heard, he was in Dunkirk. We've heard nothing since. I'm very sorry. I thought it was you at the station yesterday. You were there. When I got back to the farm, I told my mother, I say, I, I think I saw John's father. I think the suitcases were stolen. But you had two little children with you, so I was not sure. Why are you in Dijon? Well, it's rather a long story. Is anything wrong? No, monsieur. I was worried that you were away so long. Uh, I'm sorry, but everything took rather longer than I expected. I brought a little one, some tea and cakes. Some tea? Did you get the car? No. But there may be a train to Paris in the morning. I'll try to get us all on it. What is it, mademoiselle? Monsieur, it's so much to ask. But would you take little Rose with you? What? She's such a good girl. She would be no more trouble than a little mouse. Oh, I will pay her fare. But listen to me. The railway is making Dijon a center of operations. They say there will be many more bombings like last night. 
Rose would not be safe here. But it will be very difficult for me to get to England now. I may not be able to get Rose out of the country. In England, she would be safe with her father. I do not know what is going to happen to us here in Dijon. I'm afraid. I'll think about it, mademoiselle. It's most unlikely. But I, I, will, I will think about it. God bless you, monsieur. Had little Rosalinda does her coloring books on crowns. Hello, Mr. Howard. Look at the picture I'm drawing. A lovely sense of colour, Sheila. Do I have a lovely sense of colour too, Mr. Howard? Interesting. Pink chicken. That was my idea. Was it now? He wanted to make a yellow chicken, but I told him, don't make it yellow. Everybody makes yellow chicken. Make it pink. Isn't a pink chicken better, monsieur? Much better, Rose. Yes, come in. Monsieur Holland. Mademoiselle Rougeon. And Madame. I'm happy to see you again, Monsieur. I'm happy to see you, Madame. Children, these are my friends, Madame and Mademoiselle Rougeon. Hello. 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 Can they have sweets? Yes. Who would like some of my special homemade fudge? I would. Would you? Would. Would you? Come on, Vinny. Can I have some? I brought you some of my father's old clothes. They're not very chic, but uh, you look French, not so English. That's kind. I have told my mother of your situation, and she has thought of someone that we know in a town outside Brest. He owns several fishing boats and can help you cross to England. He's a good friend of my father. He will do anything for him. It's a long way. Is there a train to Brest? Well, there usually is. <laughs> And there's something else. Mama? When Nicole told me what happened at the garage this morning, she said it was clear to her that you need a chaperone. If my husband, the colonel, were here, he would devise a plan for you and the children. In his absence, Nicole and I have devised a plan. Monsieur Hart, my mother and I both think it would be better if I travel with you and the children as far as Brest. But I may get into trouble with the Germans. I wouldn't want to involve you in my difficulties. Excuse me, monsieur. May I take Ronnie and Sheila downstairs to show them my pet rabbits? I don't know. How do you feel, Sheila? I feel much better, Mr. Howard. I'll go with them, monsieur, while you and Nicole discuss the details of the journey. I'll meet you downstairs. Come along. Quick, quick. Ronnie, behave. This is a very kind offer, mademoiselle, but I can't possibly accept it. I know my way around that part of the country very well, monsieur. You've already done a great deal for me. I want to do more. Because of our friendship. Our friendship? Our friendship was a slight thing, a mere hotel acquaintance. Your son and I, John and I, we were good friends, monsieur. Good friends? So he's decided. I'll be here first thing in the morning. It's best that we leave at dawn. Mademoiselle. My son was killed in a bombing raid over Germany. Yes, I know. Just give me honest work at honest pay. Honest sweat from a hard earned day. And when I'm through, that's when I'll say. I want my clean as real as I breathe. It's got to be 99.44. I want my clean as real as I breathe. Nothing less, nothing more. No deodorants, no heavy perfumes. That's a real clean. That's ivory. It's got to be pure, that's for sure. I want my clean as real as I breathe. Today, room service. She makes breakfast every morning. 
Even if you might not want to, you can't help but wake people up with the uh, fresh mountain-grown aroma of Folgers coffee. Great. Voila. <laughs> The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Are you awake? Yeah. Want to talk? Sure. How'd it go? Fine. I think. It was sort of like presenting to the guys on Mount Rushmore. That's good, huh? Oh, did you pick up the car? Uh-huh. Oh, good. So, were you wonderful today, or what? Let's just say I didn't break out into a cold sweat. Isn't that good? Under the circumstances, I'd say that's very good. When a woman needs strength, Secret Solid is for her. Strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. I was sure there was no hope. Her white sweater was caked with mud. And the sleeve got caught. No hope. My pants! But I tried Tide with Bleach. Your dirt, your dingies, everything's whiter with Tide with Bleach. Take a dirty sock. Gets only this white with other detergents, but dyed with bleach gets it gleaming white. Mud and grime's gone. Mrs. Virginia Dean. If it's gotta be clean, it's gotta be tied. We will return to Crossing to Freedom. Does George have what it takes to invent a hit board game? What is the idiotiest, bittiest mammal in the world? Emmanuel Lewis? It's an all-new, new heart. Then, these married marriage counselors know all about falling in love. We were just laughing and talking and having a good time, and then bingo. <laughs> Tell me about it. A new his and hers Monday. Wednesday, a beautiful woman's brutal murder reunites old enemies. Get me something I can pin on Kobe. Anything. Jake and the Batman, Wednesday. This is CBS. Flowers are springing up in spots you'd never expect. Blooming more than ever before. That's because now there's Petal Express, the new flower shop at Giant Eagle, where lots of beautiful arrangements are ready to go at prices easy to take. Celebrate this Easter with an Easter basket arrangement for just $9.99, or a rainbow Easter basket arrangement for only $19.99. So if you want flowers without the fuss, you'll find them popping up at Petal Express. Only at Giant Eagle. The 24th century is about to begin, and with it comes a new legend, Star Trek, The Next Generation, Sunday nights at 12.30 on TV 27. Bob Black and Mr. Food, ride, weekdays at noon. Silence, mesdames et messieurs, silence, s'il vous plaît. Le train de Paris a énormément de retard. Il y a de gros problèmes sur la ligne avant Dijon. Quickly, quickly, the train is in the other platform. We must take it to Paris and then change that for Paris. He's leaving immediately. Doesn't seem to be a great demand for Paris. All the traffic seems to be going the other way. Then we're going to stand up the seaside. First to Paris, then another train to the coast. It's usually a long train. I love trains. Come on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. If we get into any difficulty, we'll come back here. Otherwise, I'll send a telegram when we get to England, and little Rose is with her father. God bless you, monsieur. No, no, none of that. Nous allons bien nous occuper de la petite Rose. Vite, vite, mademoiselle, le train s'en va. Yes, yes, well, let's fill up this one. In you get, Tommy. Come on, Sheila. In, in. Come on. Who are you? Bonnie's not very good. Ah. 
How did you know that John was dead? Because they notify me from his squadron. We notified you? Well, how did they know your address? The letter said that John had made arrangements. You knew each other as well as that? Uh-huh. Ever since Sido's home, we used to ride at least once a week. Children, 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 there will be no quarrelling in this compartment. Is that clear? Now, here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A bit of sweet stuff always does the trick. I learned that from my children, especially John. You gave Bonnie a bigger piece than you gave Rose and me. Nonsense, I gave everyone the same amount. Now stop simpering. Lie down and be quiet. You've been ill. But he did. He did not end this. Sometimes the right words are better than sweets. Huh? Come here, children. Come. Come sit beside me. Huh? Of Now, I want you to listen. If you behave nicely, huh, I will tell you a story. Hmm? Once upon a time, there was a very huge elephant and he would go tramping through his homeland and make the whole jungle shake every time he walk, huh? So that all the other animals around him and even far away from him get very, very... Come along. This train must return to Tijon immediately. And then there's a bus uh, from Montargis that leaves from the center of town. On, but don't ask me when the schedule Bonnie. keeps changing. Well, everything is in chaos. Uh, and we must return very quickly. Quickly? Yeah. Why quickly? Ah, uh, excuse me, monsieur. Oh. I think we should get back on the train and return to Dijon. I don't agree. I think we should take courage and go on to Chartres. We'll find a way. Uh, in any case, I think it's too late. Look, Michel, the train's moving again. Yes, Sheila, I can see that. It didn't stop for very long, did it? No, Ronnie. Shall we try to find a bus? Follow me, children. Ronnie, give your seat to little Rose. English? Yes. But they say the Germans are not English, Ronnie. This far south. Maybe. My husband told me you must live with a baby. I'll go to stay with my uh, cousin in the west. Are you all right? She's going to throw up. That's better, isn't it? It's too late. It's all right. Yeah. You couldn't help it. It's the rocking. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You feel better. It was too late. Attention! Qu'est-ce qui se passe, les gars? Un tabeur! 
What an extraordinary sight. Where are all those people going to, Mr. Howard? In search of safety, Sheila. Just as we are. I hear an aeroplane. An aeroplane? More than one. There they are, two of them. Are they French? Coming down towards us. German. I'll be back. I wasn't frightened. I wasn't frightened either. Well, I was. Rose and I don't like guns. Is that one of them? It's senseless! I was able to be here, sir! We let it be on our fair, mon dozier! Will we be able to go on? If you have strong legs. Can't you see? My bus is it's finished! <laughs> We will walk to Montargis. The bus won't go. Come on, children. I hated that old bus. Good. It's about 25 kilometers. It will take us a day or more. Is this medicine? No, I'm sorry. I must have a doctor. There are people bleeding to death. Are those dead people, Mr. Howard? Yes, Ronnie, I'm afraid so. Does it hurt to be dead, Mr. Howard? No, Sheila, when you're dead, you feel nothing. <laughs> What's your name? Does he know these dead people, Mr. Howard? Dead people look funny, don't they, Mr. Howard? Jean Duchet, Rue de la Victoire Lille. Can't you talk? Not now, Sheila. He's very sad. Why? We can't leave him here like this. We can't take him with us. Not another one, Macy. Would you Wait. rather we left him here to bury his parents? <laughs> There's sure to be a convent in Montagie. We take him there, the sisters, they look after him, huh? Will you come with us to Montagie? Come on, children. Come. Will the flames come back, Mr. Howard? No, Romy, I don't think so. Come. Bottoms. Only loves has got them. They're tops. In bottoms. 
when it's morning in New Orleans, coffee lovers head for Brennan's Restaurant for that all-important first cup of the day. This morning, we're secretly switching their fresh brewed coffee with dark, sparkling Folgers crystals. Can these people tell the difference? He's a monster before he has coffee in the morning. I'd like to be around while this was being brewed. The smell would wake me up in the morning. This yeah. good coffee. It's Folgers crystals. Oh, really? Is that right? Instant. It makes me feel like I can find my keys in the morning if I'd have a cup of this. Folgers crystals. Start your day with the coffee rich enough to be served in America's finest restaurants. I've got a what? A brush. I really do. It's, it's inconceivable. How could I possibly have a cavity? This is devastating. If your little kid has a cavity, we've got news for you. Over the years, one toothpaste has helped prevent more cavities than all others combined. Yay! Not surprisingly, it's the toothpaste more dentists recommend. Crest. This is a totally incredible visit. Yes! It's great! Crest. It's hard on cavities and easy on you. I'm out of here. For all the brilliant, beautiful colors in this world, there is now a detergent that helps keep them that way. New cheer with Color Guard. Dirt goes, color stays. Surprise! When you get close to people, you want to feel safe. You can with Safeguard deodorant soap. So go ahead, hug a person. You're safe. Go on, hold a person. You're safe, because you're a Safeguard person. Gentle antibacterial crystals are added to Safeguard for deodorant soap protection that really lasts. So don't be shy. Twirl a person. You're safe. Squeeze a person. You're a Safeguard person. Safeguard helps make it safe to get close. Crossing to Freedom will return. Legal Aid. Can America afford justice for all or is legal help for the poor permanently on hold? The story tomorrow on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. It's an all-new three-ring spectacular with incredible never-before-seen entertainment. Nell Carter hosts the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus Friday at 8. This is CBS. Three seconds left. He shoots. He scores! Oh, another victory for yesterday's star. Another career talk. It's time for real life. A real career. Come with me to ITT Technical Institute. We'll be the best backcourt of electronics technicians ever. What about basketball? Why do you think they invented Saturdays? Did you know air conditioners and refrigerators contribute to the greenhouse effect? Did you also know that bleaching coffee filters to make them white creates a deadly toxin that's dumped into our waterways? Or that Americans receive almost 2 million tons of junk mail every year? Well, the students at St. Dominic School in Youngstown know these facts, and this week they'll share some ideas on how we can take time to care about the environment, watch for them, and make every day Earth Day. A series of special public service announcements on TV27. On December 6th, my brother's family had a fire. Thank goodness no one was hurt. But the next day, the clothing we found was a soggy black mess. I didn't even think Tide could get it clean. But it did. Though I couldn't save everything, Tide worked wonders. Thanks, Doris Pickard. No detergent can clean all clothes dirtied in a fire, but Tide can clean lots of things you think are impossible. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Education takes a great teacher, a nice school, and more. It takes a computer to punch, a rainbow of paints, a world of books, which all takes... That's why JIF is building the Children's Education Fund. From now through April 30th, every time you choose JIF, JIF will make a donation to America's schools. The goal is to raise $4 million or more. So choose to help America's kids. Choose JIF. Sheila, don't be greedy. We all get turns, there's a long way to go. Don't do that, Rose, you'll hurt his feelings. I don't think so. Must you always disagree with me? He needs a mother right now, Monsieur Howard. 
I never claimed to know anything about children. My wife always said I treated my own like adults, even when they were very small. Look, Rita, yellow flowers. Sheila! Sheila! You are almost killed. Don't you ever do that again. But what about the flowers? Never mind the flowers. But you can't do this. Yes, I can. Wait. Then I told you I could. Rose, ask him if he wants to play. I don't think he does. Why does he never say anything? Would you like to have a whistle? Monsieur demande si tu voudrais un fruto. You have one, monsieur? No, but I'm making one. You don't have to make whistles, Mr. Howard. I used to make them for my son. The soldiers say the Germans are on their way into Paris. It's not possible. What is the French army doing? It's the best, I should think. Here, one of the soldiers gave me this for the children. Look what I have, huh? What is it? Can I see? Look. Chocolate. Thank you. 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 It will be perfectly safe here. Thank you very much, monsieur. Not at all. You speak English? Hmm? First, tell me your name. Pierre. Pierre. Yes, that's my father's name. Good boy. Come on, children. We must move. Come on. Come on, children. Girls, collect your things. Ronnie, you bring them with can. Do I have to? Oh, I. Are you English? No, I'm Scottish. He's English. Well, I'm English. Now I'm trying to get back to England. Well, you're not the only one. And I've got an aero engine to get back there. Sheila. Will you take us with you? Sheila. What? All of you? Oh, she's pretty. Where are you heading? A town called Brest. Not the sort of name I'd give a place, but you know what the frogs are like. Now look. If we take this back road, we can bypass Montagues and push straight through to Angerville. Yeah, but it's longer and it's unpaved. We might run into trouble up there, Cole. Ah, we won't have all this bloody traffic, though, will we? Hey, if we can go faster than two mile an hour, maybe she won't overheat. But we still have to get some water. You can have the rest of our milk for the radiator. Milk? Ah, it's worth a try. Come on, then. All we need now is the cocoa and we'd be well off, eh? Don't run, Sheila. Allez, Pierre. Allez, allez, viens. Make yourselves comfortable. Come on. Can you take my pram? If we have to walk again, it's all I have to put the children in. Are they all yours, mate? They're ours. All right, then, but don't take all day. Jonesy! This is all we
aiming for us. Military targets. What did he hit? Fuel dump, probably. Come on, best get going. Only three, monsieur. Only three? We can only find three of your pills. Oh. Mon dieu. so far above all other coffees? Because only the mountains can give coffee the gift of time. Time to let the morning mist make it smoother. Time to let the cool, nurturing rain make it richer. And time to let the warm afternoon sunshine coax the beans to their aromatic peak. But while the mountains take time to create a great coffee like Folgers, that rich, enticing aroma and full-bodied flavor take no time at all to wake you up. Mountain Grown Folgers, the best part of waking up. La, 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 la. How lucky to be born today. Because today, new Ultra Pampers are born. One for boys and one for girls. It's going to be the driest Pampers generation ever. Love. Love makes you beautiful. You laugh, you glow. But that's the secret of beauty. It comes from inside. Pantene knows this. Pantene has the pro vitamin B5 complex. Gives your hair strength inside. And oh, what it does for the outside. So beautiful. You see, love you have to wait and hope for. But Pantene, you can just go and get. Come on in to a light, sunny freshness from Downey. Come on in to Sunrin's Fresh. Light, sunny, Downey feeling. It's like hanging your wash in the sunshine. Sunrin's Downey with the fluffiest softness. You can see Downey softens best. Come on in, smell the sunshine. Light, sunny, Sunrin's Fresh. Downey, April Fresh and Light Sunrin's Fresh too. Come on in to the sunshine. That doesn't look right to me. Bloody funny nobody's about. Think it's full of Jerry's corp, hiding like... Well, I don't know. I'll walk ahead and have a look around. Well, that could be risky, mate. I'd rather take that risk than drive through there with the children and be fired on. 
Mr. Howard and I will be right back. You mustn't come with me. Oh, yes, I must. We both can't leave the children. What if something should happen to us? Get back inside. little creature. He speaks only German. He's a spy. Oui. C'est un espion. Et toi aussi, d'ailleurs. Et toi. Un spy. He's a child. Stop that. He's a child. Oh, he's a child. He's no more than seven years old. I want to take him with us. I'm not worried about the amount of spying he's going to do. Don't suppose you saw any sign of a garage back there, did you, mate? No. Well, don't suppose you had much time to look. Only if we don't find some petrol soon, we're sunk. Hang on. We're going through. For now, I'm afraid. Oh, Pete, I'm starving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Paul. Hey! Don't you have any manners? Didn't your mother ever teach you how to ask politely? You knew not to. Take a puma. We have no time to eat. Take a puma! I think he's Dutch. Well, whatever he is, the poor child needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> End of the line. We're out of juice. Everybody out. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Where are we? Five miles short of Angivilla, thereabouts. Old Crate did better than I expected. Yes. Everybody sit tight. According to the map, there's a small village just up ahead. I'll go see if I can get some petrol. There may be Germans there. Aye. Come down, Jack. But I'll be all right. He's good to stretch, huh? Children, please don't wander off. Good luck. Look, Mr. Howard, the river. Will you go for a swim? Can they? It doesn't bother me. He's going to be gone half an hour at least. In that case, I think it's a very good idea.
Have you ever seen such a beautiful child? If we come through this, I'm going to do everything possible to get the children to America. My daughter and her husband live there. They'll make a home for the children until the war ends. That would be the Costellos? Huh? John told you of Mary and Jack. Shall we? Would you like to see a picture of John? You were in Paris together? Hmm. Exactly a year ago, just before the war. I, I never knew anything about this at all. No. I didn't tell my parents either. They wouldn't have a proof. Why? What time do you make it, mate? 2.30! He should be back by now. If he's not here in 15 minutes, we'd better get going. If they've captured him, they'll be sure to find us. I didn't know John had ever been to Paris. So much about John that I never knew. I got to know him very well in Paris. He was such a wonderful man. Intelligent and kind. He had so much humor. <laughs> One time, he accidentally knocked into this woman on the metro, and uh, the woman began to scold him. And John, he tried to apologize, but the woman, she would not let him get a word in. So, John, he takes the woman by the shoulders, yeah, and he kiss her on both cheeks. <laughs> that stop her. <laughs> enough, children, enough. Boy, he's coming back. He's coming back! Couldn't find any petrol. But Angerville is only about five miles up the road and they don't think the Germans are there yet. Look, why don't you and the kids go on ahead? Even if they are there, they probably won't bother you. What are you going to do? I am going to pull that handle, blow the truck and run like hell. Me and Jonesy will see if we can find another back road. Try and dodge the jerrys. Shall I put them in the ground? All right, children. Grab the kit. We're moving on. Thank you, gentlemen, both. Thank you. Do we have to walk again? Goodbye. Yes, I think so. Is it Goodbye. far? Come speed. Good luck to you, mate. And the missus and the kids. Are we going to England now? We're never going to get there. You've got ten minutes. No, Ronnie, the soldiers blew it up. They didn't want the Germans to get our machines. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. It's all right, boys. I'll look after you. Bloody war. Time to say a little prayer. Come common for line. Can it be Deutsch? Ja, mein Herr. Ja. Listen, children. From this point on, no one but Mademoiselle Rougeron is permitted to speak. Is that clear? Ever again? Not until I tell you that you may. 
and no one is permitted to cry. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Howard. Sie brauchen einen Schein. Danke. Danke. Danken Sie nicht mir. Danken Sie Deutschland. What was the last thing he said to you? Don't thank me, my friend. Thank Germany. But I thought you were supposed to be bad, Mr. Howard. Me. But I don't want to be quiet, Mr. Howard. If the Germans hear you speak, they'll know you are English and they will take you away and lock you up in some terrible place and give you nothing to eat until you die. In any case, the Germans have made sure we will eat well tonight. What is that? Our free pass to food and lodging. A hotel? John likes Paris, Nicole. Well, he was very, very naughty in Paris, Monsieur Hart. I prepare for his visit so carefully. I plan the things we would do each day. The Louvre, the Trocadero, the Cluny Museum. But all John would do was stay in the hotel room from morning to night. I don't want to look at museums, he says. I only want to look at you. This was the happiest week of my life. We fell in love. Talk about marrying. Marry. Would you have minded that? I'd have welcomed it. I'd have welcomed you <laughs> and the children you might have had. My grandchildren. I get a wrinkle till I got one. That did it. Oil of Olay. This is war. Created to penetrate quickly. It's going to be a very lonely wrinkle. Closely resembling the fluid that helps young skin maintain its softness and fullness. Girl, gracefully, huh? Uh uh. Oil of Olay. I may be young, but I wasn't born yesterday. Original and now sensitive. Today, room service. She makes breakfast every morning. Coffee. Even if you might not want to, you can't help but wake people up with the fresh mountain-grown aroma of Folgers coffee. Great. Voila. You made me breakfast in bed. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. What a vacation. Uh-oh, does he need changing? No, oh, I do. Oh, your son just planted his cheeseburger on my lap. 
Man, I bought these white pants just for this trip. So you'll wash them. This is hamburger grease. I'll never wear them again. Take the stains you dread most to Liquid Tide. With amazing speed, Tide beads up soaked in grease and floats it away. Tide got my pants especially white. Thanks, Janet Jackaruso. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. It's Friday night at the Smith House. We'll be here any minute. Jane and Mike are having a party. Did you pick the music? Eight guests, friends. Spinning. The food, the music, the lighting. Candle? Nothing Always. was left to chance when suddenly... Glasses? Spotted. Spots? Spots. We don't have time for spots. You don't have time for spots. So use Cascade. The sheeting action rinses spots away. Maybe they'll be late. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe not. not. Don't take chances. Use Cascade because you don't have time for spots. We will return to Crossing to Freedom. The Major's coming home. He survived military combat, but will they kill it with kindness on the home front? An all-new Major Dad. Then, when an emergency drill turns into an all-nighter, romance arises. I think I'm falling in love with Lance. This is like having great sex. An all-new city. Well, let's talk. Monday after Major Dad. Spring is in the air. So this is like paperwork for them? I remember my first time. <laughs> a new time for Sydney. Then, what happens when the Harlows decide to lose a few pounds? Just say no. It's a crash diet. Don't make me use these. On a crash course with sanity. Normal life at a new time, Wednesday. This is CBS. Instructors who develop skills and confidence. Programs that lead to degrees in some of today's fastest growing careers. A belief that you learn by doing. ITT Technical Institute. We're here to help you succeed. A Current Affair, weekday afternoons at 4. Good evening, I'm Bridget Mahoney. A young mother in Brookfield has died after trying to save her three-year-old twin sons from their burning home. 30-year-old Patricia Timko died early this morning. Her sons were badly injured. The cause of the fire, a smoldering cigarette on a sofa inside the home on Sharon Warren Road. Use a carpool. Save energy, money, and gas. Make every day Earth Day. Partly cloudy skies overnight, a low of 35. Variable cloudiness Monday, but warmer with a high of 65. Join us when the News Watch continues after the CBS movie. Static can add up to real embarrassment. Static can also be a hair-raising experience. And static can catch you off guard. Because the more you move, the more static can build up. But you can stop static cling by using Bounce regularly. Because Bounce leaves clothes virtually static-free. It won't stop you. Bounce stops static before static stops you. This is an apple. And this is an apple. The difference between the two, gum disease. You don't brush, you don't floss, you don't visit your dentist. You don't eat this apple. You eat this one. This message was brought to you with the approval of the American Dental Association by Crest, the dentist choice, because healthy gums are important to healthy teeth. Do you think you can behave like a much older man? Much older? One who cannot talk, he cannot hear, he's very stupid. I'll do my best. Oh, yeah. We have come from Arras, you are the grandfather. Our house in Arras was destroyed by the English. The English? The Germans will be more uh, uh, sympathetic to us if we blame the English. You have a brother in London, no? It's a small town outside of Paris. From this minute, I will do the talking.
Ah, Monsieur, are you all right? Do you need your pills? I'll try, Spitter. Wohin gehen Sie, alter Mann? Où est-ce que vous allez? Mon grand-père a besoin des pilules. Il est malade. Allez, tiens. Il en a. Un, deux. Vous voyez? Il en prend. C'est doof, nicht? Vielleicht, vielleicht auch nicht. Ich kann nie wissen. Vous voyez, il en a vraiment besoin, hein? Un moment. Ach, mein Großvater. Er bereitet mir mehr Probleme als alle Kinder zusammen. Ja, wie doch. Allez, allez. Where are we going now, Mr. Howard? To see a friend of Nicole's. He will help you get to England. I hope he's not German. No. Monsieur Avert is a Frenchman. Germans scare me. My name is Ronnie. His name is Pierre. What's your name? My name is Ronnie. And my name is Pierre. What's your name? My name is Willem. Did you hear that? It's William. Willem. Did you hear that, Mr. Howard? His name is Willem. William? Willem! This is Marianne S. Tyson, Monsieur Howard. How do you do? He's a Jewish boy from Poland. He escaped to France with his mother and father, and last week, the Germans came here and took his parents away. Monsieur Arver has agreed to help us if we take Marianne with us. Another? Am I not to meet him? Monsieur Avert? I'm sorry. He refuses to speak to an Englishman. I see. The boy is filled with rage. He saw the Germans cut off his mother's fingers. We must move, children. We must go now. Gather your things, please. Come along now. You must move quickly. Look very close. Just a little. I'm going to see now, Mr. Howard. Tomorrow, Sheila. Tomorrow.
Come on, Sheila. Race it to the top of the hill. Are you coming to America, mademoiselle? No, Pierre, I can't. France is my country, my mother is here. Just uh, you, Willem, and Marianne will go. How can you be certain we'll get home safely? I will. I don't want to go to America without you and Rose. Oh, Pierre. Is that my good boy, huh? I huh? can do the same, Mr. Howard. I can do the same, Mr. Howard. So can I. No, you can't. You're too small. Quiet, please. No English. Did you say that you can see the sea? There is no such string. This is how we will know our man, the fisherman Fouquet. We're late already. Come on, children. You can't take the children either. All right. I'll stay with them here. No! We must go in there together. Fouquet knows to look for us. He will make contact only with an older man and a younger woman. He's taking a very great risk. We must go together. The beach is quiet. Children, you will go on to that beach and you will play quietly. You must not move from it and you must not speak English. Hmm? Yes. Quatre bien petite rose. Si vous plaît, madame. What now? He waits. C'est quoi ça Je ne connais pas. Oh, alors, attendez. Vous voulez vous prendre Monsieur Monsieur, vous nous boirez un coup avec nous. Volontiers. Je ne dis pas non. S'il vous plaît. On va boire un petit verre. Oh, ton French. My daughter-in-law, Mademoiselle Rougeron. All right. Listen carefully. My boat is waiting in the quay. But I can't take you till later. There is extra security in the area. The word is they are after some spy. We have to be very careful. Oh, <laughs> 
Wer ist der Betreuer dieser Kinder? Sie darauf, dass wir nicht gestört werden. So, still have English gentlemen traveling in France. Had a very nice time. And your French? Yes, and this is my country. But you've been helping this gentleman in his work against your country, making you a traitor to the armistice for which you will be shot. There's no need to frighten her. What do you want to know? I want to know what means you use to make her help you in your work. I have no work in France. He was trying to get the children back to England. Well, I have no doubt he wanted to return to England. It's getting rather hot here for fellows like you. We captured Sharondon yesterday. I've never heard of anyone called Sharondon. No, and you probably don't know your Major Cochrane nor Room 212 in your war office in Whitehall. I've never been in the war office. I don't know anyone called Cochrane. Tell me, if you'd been able to return to England, what would you have done with so many children? Some of them had relatives in England. The others I was going to send to America to live with my daughter until the war is over. We know that you're a spy moving through the country in disguise, using this woman and the children as cover. We know that you've been operating with Sharondon, who has confessed to sending important strategic information back to Cochrane. You will tell us how you and Sharondon managed to accomplish this. This is absurd. He knows nothing. You haven't listened to a word he said. You... My dear sir, that before the end of the day you'll be speaking freely, and I should be listening very carefully to every word. I 
can't tell them what I don't know. If I should be killed, you'll do your best for the children. I know you will. I'll try to persuade them to let me make a new will. And when the war is over, you can get money from England and you will be able to keep the children and to educate them. You see, when well, you introduce me to Fouquet, you call me your daughter-in-law. Hmm? Is that how you think of me? I will always think of you. Good. Then as your daughter-in-law, I forbid you to speak of death and wills. Don't you leave me too. Never know what the day will bring. This is contract law. Next building. But the unexpected's a real sure thing. On demand, you're more sure. You see, Sure responds on demand to work harder when you need it more. No volunteers? So Sure helps keep you dry. You may never know when you need more Sure, but Sure knows when. The third part. Correct. Give you more. Raise your head on demand. When it's morning in New Orleans, coffee lovers head for Brennan's Restaurant for that all-important first cup of the day. This morning, we're secretly switching their fresh-brewed coffee with dark, sparkling Folgers crystals. Can these people tell the difference? He's a monster before he has coffee in the morning. I'd like to be around while this is being brewed. The this smell would wake me up in the morning. This yeah. big coffee. It's Folgers crystals. Really? Sarah, instant. Makes me feel like I'd find my keys in the morning if I'd have a cup of this. Folgers crystals. Start your day with the coffee rich enough to be served in America's finest restaurants. I wish the person who put those tires on the playground had to wash my kids' clothes. So much dirt and tire smut. I gave up until Tide with Bleach. Colors are bright with Tide with Bleach. And those whites? Take a dirty sock. Gets only this white with other detergents, but Tide with Bleach gets it gleaming white. It brings back the brightness and newness. Thanks, Marlene Burgett. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Bounty means never having to say, I'm sorry, so sorry, even for the worst spills. Bounty's quicker and thicker than any other national two-ply paper towel. Bounty, the quicker, thicker picker-upper. Bounty means never having to say you're
Sí. If you tell me what information he got out of France, I will stop his execution. Until today, I had never seen that man before. You haven't got a lot of time. Do think carefully before it's too late. Just a few little words. What information did he send? Until today, I had never seen that man before. So you have nothing to say to save his life? I literally know nothing. You have done an evil thing. Spare me the lecture. Come. America called White Falls in Minnesota. I've never heard of White Falls. But Minnesota is about a thousand miles from where my daughter lives. Suppose I were to let you return to England. What would you think? If you let me take the children, I would be very grateful. And the woman? She wants to stay in France. If I were to let you return to England with the children, will you do me a small service? It depends on what the service is. You're in no position to drive bargains. I must know what you want me to do before I will agree to do it. And something to show you. were killed. My brother made a most unfortunate marriage to a Jew. I have another brother, Rupert, who lives in White Falls. Obviously, because of her heritage, it would be better for little Anna to be in a neutral country. You'll see to it that she gets there. Anna, das ist Herr Howard. Er wird dafür sorgen, dass du zu Onkel Ruprecht nach Amerika kommst. No tricks. I'll not have you spreading stories the moment you reach England. Remember, we still have the woman and the fisherman. I'll be very pleased to take your niece with me, Herr Deason. On condition that you guarantee the safety and freedom of Mademoiselle Rougeron and the fisherman. Get out! determine the fate of your two friends and nobody else. If 
I take your niece with me and then hear that any harm has come to either Mademoiselle Rougeon or Monsieur Fouquet, this story will be published in my country and broadcast on the wireless mentioning you by name. You dare to threaten me? Yes! You've gone too far. It looks as if we're going to be in each other's hands. We have to hurry, sir. We are to take advantage of the tide. Children, we're going to England now. But Mademoiselle Rougeron must leave us. We will say goodbye. Goodbye, Ronnie. I think you are a very brave boy. Goodbye, Mademoiselle Rougeron. Don't let the Germans hurt you. Mm. Goodbye, Mademoiselle Rougeron. Goodbye, Sheila. Mademoiselle, s'il vous plaît. I must say goodbye to all of them. I oh, yes, I will miss you. But I know that you will be a big help to Monsieur Roberts, huh? I know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Willem. Hmm? Goodbye. I will miss you so much. Right. Come on. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, Pierre. Goodbye. 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 Thank you.
Oh, can I ever thank you for all you've done for us? No. I so thank you. When John died, I thought it was the end of the world. And you have restored my hope. Enough now, please. Into the boat. I will come and visit you as soon as we are free. I look forward to that happy time. Goodbye, dear Mr. Howard. Goodbye, my dear Nicole. Ready for the party too, you know. I don't know if I'm going. Is something wrong? Kind of sick. Uh... Oh, diarrhea? Mm hmm. I know what you need. It's in the medicine cabinet. Pepto. Here it comes the soothing relief of Pepto Bismol. The one that coats is the only one you need. Feeling better? Let's party. Okay, tonight's experiment, gazpacho. Two more for dinner? Sure. Okay, Molly, you're going to bed again. Now the music. Rock, rumba, reggae. Since you have other things to think about than spots, use Cascade so your dishes will look great for the party. Cascade sheeting action rinses spots away. The centerpiece goes in the center. Perfect. Don't take chances. Use Cascade because you don't have time for spots. La, 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 la. How lucky to be born today. Because today, new Ultra Pampers are born. One for boys and one for girls. It's going to be the driest Pampers generation ever. What a mess. My son's band uniform had an orange cummerbund that fell right in the middle of Four Mile Post Road. And it lay there overnight with cars and trucks running all over it. The next day, when I found it, I could see the tire marks and they were ground in. I took a chance the tide could get it out. I pre-soaked and washed as usual. The tire marks all came out. Tide saved the cummerbund and the day. Thanks, Pat DeHilster. If it's gotta be clean, it's got to be tied. This is Harry Smith. And I'm Paula Zahn. Tomorrow, baseball's opening day with Tim McCarver, Jack Buck, and Greg Gumbel. Also, Melissa Gilbert. Later this week, Dudley Moore on CBS This Morning. Stay tuned for your local news.
to learn more about the lives of children caught up in the Second World War. The Library of Congress suggests these books, Children of the Holocaust by Helen Epstein and Pied Piper by Neville Shute. These and many other interesting books are available at your local library and bookstore. Visit them. They'll be happy to help you read more about it. and Lisa Gibbons, live from L.A., when Miss USA takes on the world in the 1990 Miss Universe pageant, next Sunday. This is CBS. Tonight on Newswatch 27, a tragic 